everyone, and welcome back to Jesse Heck Creative. Today we're going over the Age of Ultron, Bruce Banner, Hulk, and Hulkbuster from Marvel Legends. Before we begin, make sure to hit that like button and smash that subscribe button. Now let's get to it. In sharp contrast to my previous reviews of Thor, Black Widow, and Hawkeye, this is the last figure to come out of that four pack at least, and this Mark Ruffalo Bruce Banner head sculpt is awful. I think there's a little bit in the face I can see, but as far as the hair, it's bleeding out, the pupils look really weird, there's some specks of black over here, articulation's fine I guess, up and then down a little bit, working just okay on only two axes, but it's an alright head sculpt I think, kinda poor actually. The body sculpt we've seen before, but this purple inlay is new, it's very nicely done, articulation is fine, we've seen it before, it's just okay I guess. This is the normal suited body we've seen, and these joints are kind of old and very outdated now. They're barely working, barely functional joints, they're just okay, and the belt is pretty nice too, but everything around it is just fair. We've seen these legs before, they're in a dark blue, they have the pins, they don't have the little thing on the back actually, that's kind of weird, but they're alright legs I guess. These shoes are fine too, we've seen them before, they're in a darkish brown color, articulation's fair I would guess, it's just okay, and not the best legs shoes, boots, what have you, two pegels on the feet, and not really much sort of traction on the bottom. It's an alright figure that needs to be replaced, and luckily we have a replacement. Here is the box for the Infinity Saga Bruce Banner, looking awesome, really nice upgrade over here. Infinity Saga Bruce Banner, Avengers Infinity War, Legends series on the top, same thing, on the side a bunch of Avengers, on the back a poster, and still struggling with the vitality of his alter ego, Bruce Banner must make peace with himself to help stop Thanos from wreaking havoc across the galaxy. More more figures over here on the bottom, all the legal you ever need. Let's open up Bruce Banner. The head sculpt is much better for Mark Ruffalo here, kind of cherubic in a way, kind of like bigger also, but it does look nice, it looks much better and more Mark Ruffalo y than the previous head sculpt. I do like the hair, he has a little bit of sort of gray spots, the temples. What, are we gonna use this for Mr. Fantastic or something? Anyways, we have a swivel over here and some up and down that's pretty loose and working out fine, as well as some nice pivot for this pretty good Bruce Banner Mark Ruffalo head sculpt. This body got quite the upgrade from the previous figure, a bigger jacket, pinless arms, fists over here as well, as well as a different interior looking nice, goes back and forth pretty well, and goes up and down very nicely all the way around, you do get a swivel over here for articulation, as well as some nice elbow joint over there, the swivel and then a hinge going up and down over here with a twist for the waist on the other one too, and the silver belt is pretty nice other than the gold, I like how this looks, it could be more purple though, but it is sculpted very nicely. I think the legs are the exact same thing as the previous figure, but these shoes are new. They look nice and are pretty cool, so I gotta give them points for that. You can go out and in, up and back, all the way back, and there are pins over here. Sadly, you get a swivel over here and a swivel kind of down here, not really. You just get a pivot and then up and down, not really that great, and very, very thin peg holes, as well as all the stuff and all the markings on the bottom of the feet. It's nice and works out pretty okay for this Bruce Banner. I think it's a good replacement for the previous. He does come with two alternate hands, that are really poorly sculpted. Look at all these weird flangey pieces that are weird. Get a swivel and then an in and out for that. I would have loved to see a struggling green Hulk head. Something angry, something cool like that. This head is fine, but an extra head would have made this set go the extra mile instead of these hands. The old Bruce Banner stands at about just under six inches tall, five and three quarters inches or so, and the new Bruce Banner stands at around six inches tall even. And here are the Bruce Banners next to some other suited bodies. We have Agent Coulson and Happy Hogan, as well as Nick Fury and Tony Stark, looking nice together. And also here's Peter Parker and Wilson Fisk next to the Bruce Banners. Someday we're gonna get a movie with them, someday. And here they are next to Jesse Heck Creative. Well since he's not using it anymore, I thought I'd take this suit out for a test drive. What do you mean it's a rental? The Mark Ruffalo likeness transfers pretty well to the Hulk, looking pretty nice over here. I actually like the sculpt very well. It's the plastic slowly dying that makes me very scared about this though. I do think there's a lot of scratches on this piece, as well as this chin thing over here. And I do like the eyes are well done, the teeth are done pretty well. The hair's done alright, missing a lot of spots on there. It's just okay I think for that. But it's a nice head sculpt for the face at least, with some good articulation left and right. Up and down, side to side, pretty okay for Hulk at least. 
least. We've probably seen this body before. It's kind of blank, very barren, not too great, and has a lot of spots in it for some reason. I'm not sure why. Under there, too. Reticulation's fine, going back, forth, side to side. Get a swivel. It doesn't really crash that much against all this. It's nice and smooth, too. I love it. You get up this far in the arm and down. You get all the way around. There's some nice veins over here, too. Nothing is painted, though. There's no wash, no nothing, and the articulation is kind of fair, not working all that great on my copy of this figure. It's just okay. That is decent for a Hulk. There's not even a waist twist, but whatever. The legs are really bowed in on my copy. I love the texturing here, though. It's super nice. And look, paint. The only paint on this figure is not even really done that well, to the point where if you twist it up, you lose that. So yeah, just keep them like this, I guess, all bowed and weird like this. Going out this far really nicely and in this far pretty well. I get a swivel over there, a swivel underneath. You can go up pretty far if you twist it up and go back pretty far if you twist it back. And there is an Avengers logo there. That's pretty cool. You put in the minimal effort they had to for this. You do get an up this far and down. No swivel over here. Would have been great at least for this piece. And down and up and then a pivot with two pegos above the feet and an undergrowth thing. And the toes look really nice too on this figure actually. Really good sculpting and molding for that. They are really well done so I gotta give them that. Pretty good Hulk figure. Not the best but it works well at least. But what doesn't work well is the Hulk's blood pressure right after this. Hello everyone, and thank you so much for watching so far. Make sure to click like, subscribe, share, and leave a comment. You can also click the bell icon for more creativity. Now let's get back to it. This Scarlet Witch Charged Hulk is awesome. This head sculpt is amazing. The veins are beautiful, coming from the neck to the head with that yelling head sculpt. It's just so great. The furrowed brow and the eyebrows are awesome. The pink around the eyes is really great. And more veins over here and on the back with just hair over there. Wish there were some more veins. You get some nice swivel and then up and down, some side to side on this excellent scary Hulk head. We just went over the body, but there are some differences such as this hair on his chest. Look awesome and some veins that are painted going down his arm. I really appreciate the detail and work they put into this even if they just gave us a Hulk that is just mostly green but this one is a very pale green and the legs are kind of the same too but not much paint at least. We have some more paint up here though and the Avengers logo was gone for some reason. I guess he's not part of the Avengers when he's fighting the Hulk Buster but it looks very nice from all angles and it's a super good Hulk figure. I think slightly better than the previous. Here's both Hulks together and they stand at about I would say just under eight inches tall around seven and three quarters or so each seven and a half They're really cool figures and just look awesome together Here are the Bruce banners next to their respective Hulks looking awesome over here I'm not sure which Hulk I like better. I don't know if I'll keep them both I'm definitely getting rid of the old Bruce banner though The new one looks nicer at least and has more that comes with it And here's Tony Stark and Nick Fury next to the Hulks looking nice at least Tony say you're sorry And here they are next to Jesse Heck creative what a great time to tell me that was an Ecto Cooler in the fridge. And now we come to one of the biggest Marvel legends, the Hulk Buster, a beautiful figure. I love this piece so much. The head sculpt is really nice. You swivel up and down. It's like a disc on a hinge. It's wonderful, beautiful up here. Really nice paint too. We can even shift back and forth. Super good head sculpt for this Hulk Buster figure and looks great. The body is a mass of red with a little bit of gold here and there speckled everywhere. The arc reactor looks awesome on here. Articulation is fine. Going going up and down and some nice sort of swiveling here. Not really that great though. The torso is split up in two pieces, at least three actually. The back has some really nice thrusters over here looking awesome and the rest of the body is really cool. These plates over here of armor looking really amazing for this piece. Each arm is a huge mass of red for the shoulder, a huge mass of gold for the forearm and pretty good articulation but it is very heavy going out this far and in going all the way around to charge up a Hulk punch at least going up this far and down with some swivel as well for that and a little bit of swivel for the hand and a little bit of up and down too. It didn't really skimp on articulation for this. This arm could do the same. What a great body for this Hulk Buster. The legs are super thick looking wonderful. It's like bell bottoms down here. Super nice. I love all these different little doodads and beat bops and pieces that are all colored and looking wonderful. The gold is super nice on the sides. Yeah there's pins but it really works and fits with a robotic figure like this. There's some silver on the back kind of like the silver on the back up here looking 
looking wonderful with that, like a joint. And I'm just so happy about this piece over here. This is just wonderful. Even the feet are really cool. They remind me of like those old Bionicle shoes you used to have, or at least like Crocs or something. This is great. There's some thrusters in the back too. Articulation is really interesting. You don't really go out this far and in. You go up this far, not really, and back, not really that much either. Sadly, you do get a double jointed knee going up this far at least and down with some pretty good swivel and then some up and down over here and a little bit of pivot too also this is the hulkbuster figure probably one of my favorite figures for the mcu just a fantastic character to have in the collection the hulkbuster and here we have Hulkbuster next to the old Hulk and new Hulk looking really nice together and pretty well in scale. Here we have the Hulkbuster next to Happy Hogan, Tony Stark dressed for the occasion, and both Bruce Banners looking really nice. They all fit pretty well in scale with the Hulkbuster. And here's the Hulkbuster next to Nick Fury and Jesse Heck Creative. Oh, you guys are screwed now. Overall, Bustin' makes me Hulk smash. The first Bruce Banner we got way back when is a nice figure for its time, but it's been definitely replaced in the long run. This new Bruce Banner is cool with all its updates, but I find that having a turning into the Hulk head would be better than those two hands. The Hulk figure from Age of Ultron is awesome. I really love the paint on it as well as the sculpt. I think it's actually better in some ways than the Angry Hulk. Angry Hulk is awesome, I love the new head sculpt and the new paint application, but I find that the pale green kind of turns me off to using this as a regular Hulk for my collection. And the Hulkbuster, what can I say, one of the best MCU figures that Hasbro has put out to date. The articulation may not be up to today's standards, but what can you expect from this chunky boy? If you're a fan of Bruce Banner, the Hulk, or the Hulkbuster, I would highly recommend getting the Hulkbuster, the regular Hulk, and the new Bruce Banner, they're all great. As far as the Angry Hulk and old Bruce Banner go that's up to completionism or preference. But make no mistake, B-U-S-T-E-D, you are busted. So which Hulk or Bruce Banner is your favorite? Normal? Angry? New? Old? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching Jesse Heck Creative. Make sure to click like, subscribe, share, and leave a comment. You can also visit us at jessieheckcreative.com for more reviews like this one. Thank you so much for watching, and keep being creative. Stay tuned.